good morning students uh, today we'll start with uh, another topic in retail management that is what are the opportunities in indian retail in the previous classes in retail management we have studied what is retail what is the importance of retail what are the various functions of retail yeah. we have also studied about the various formats in retail we have studied what are the drivers of uh, growth in retail all these things we have studied we have also studied in the previous class what are the challenges that the retail industry in india is facing so in today's class we'll study what are the opportunities in indian retail so before understanding the opportunities we should recap what are the various challenges that the indian retail industry faces and a lot of challenges like lack of technology adoption lack of infrastructure and logistics scarcity of skilled workforce the workforce that is available for the retail sector are not very skilled so they depend on other sectors so lack of skilled workforce fraud that has been occurring in retail insufficient and inefficient supply chain management and the price war that is going on the cultural diversity so india is a very diverse country it consists of people from various uh, religions caste so accordingly due to the cultural differences uh, cultural diversity so the preferences of customers are also very different so this is causing a lot of problem for the indian retail industry apart from that the escalating land and rental prices the power supply problem in india the competition from unorganized sector the other sector being 93% of the market so it is creating a great uh, competition with the organized retail in india the emergence of uh, a lot of online uh, companies online selling companies the complexity of structures the structure that is available in india the high cost of operating a retail store in india the entrance of global uh, giants like walmart into india and also the changing consumer preference has led to the various challenges that is there in the indian retail industry but apart from the challenges there are also a lot of opportunities in indian retail industry now we have to understand that these opportunities are due to certain uh, conditions why these opportunities are there we will understand what are the reasons that we can say that that opportunities in indian retail industry so let us start first indian retail accounts for over 10% of the country's gdp so it is one of the major sectors that is uh, helping the into uh, a contribution towards the gross domestic product that is the gdp indian retail also provides around 8% of employment so um, indian uh, retail is one of the biggest employment generator it generates a lot of employment around 8% of all employment is generated by indian retail it is also essential to know that india is world's fifth largest global destination in the retail space okay and then by 2020 the indian retail in india is expected to grow or reach at usd 1.1 trillion and this estimation was done in year 2016 when the uh, so market size of indian retail was 680 usd 680 trillion india is ranked as the first in the global retail development index that was done in 2017 also the overall retail market is expected to grow at a rate of 12% per annum so all these things these are the major things it is an idea about the what is the environment in which the retail industry is operating as of now so we can understand it's a very conducive environment for the retail uh, industry to grow so the retail industry is one of the most dynamic and fast paced industries with several players entering into the market so this forms the cornerstone on the basis of which we can say that there are a lot of opportunities available in the indian retail industry or indian retail scenario we'll read all the points we'll discuss all the points one by one okay so what are the opportunities in indian retail the first opportunity is the rising economy when we say the economy is rising it means it 
sends a signal across the globe that the investment will yield maximum return on their investment. When we say the rising economy, it says that the economy is booming and if the foreign entrants or the domestic entry, a new entrant entering into the economy, if they invest money, they'll get a lot of yield or return on investment. So they will be interested to get more profit and enter into the economy, enter into the industry. So the uh, retail industry, the rising economy is a boom, is a boom to the retail industry and it is helps in the growth and sends across a very proper clear signal to all investors, both domestic and foreign investors to invest in Indian retail industry. Now, the second point is the growing population. The population, when it grows, it forms, it gives a bigger size of potential market and the higher will be the demand. If the market is big enough, if the market is growing, if the population is growing, that means that the market is growing. If the market is growing, it means, it obviously means that the demand, expected demand is going to increase in coming in near future. So this has helped in attracting lot of global players into the Indian market scenario. They are setting up a lot of stores throughout the length and breadth of the, in the Indian and in government of India. And similarly, the growing population also helps in uh, understanding the diverse uh, interest, the customer preference, what the customer demands. So this growing population is one of the conditions or one of the opportunities in the Indian retail unit, which helps in uh, development of the Indian retail unit. And coming to the next thing is availability of infrastructure. The infrastructure in India, even if, if, even if I've studied this point as one of the challenges, but India is do, doing a lot to improve the infrastructure uh, in India. So what is doing it is uh, ensuring that the infrastructure in India is uh, trying to match the infrastructure in India with the foreign countries. So what will happen if the infrastructure is good? It will lead to a proper functioning of retail activities and it will lead to more profitability of the economy. Now in metro states like Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai and also Kolkata, Bangalore, a lot of Pune and other things, Goa, Noida. Uh, Gurugao, all these things places a lot of infrastructure boom is going on and this infrastructure growth has uh, attracted global uh, giants into India. The, they are interested uh, a lot of uh, FDI foreign direct investment is uh, now diverted towards the Indian retail industry. Okay, so these things help in the development of the Indian retail industry. Then comes the willingness and eagerness of people to spend. A vast majority of the population of India is now young people and they believe in a very fast paced lifestyle and they are very eager to spend a lot of money. Similarly, one thing you have to keep in mind that the financial institutions and the government agencies are also encouraging people to spend more by giving them uh, prop this. Uh, banks and financial system by giving them easy credit and the government making roadways for this foreign direct investment. So it has helped a lot and the people since they are getting easy credit and since the, they prefer a lifestyle which is brand conscious, like the people, young people are brand conscious and they get easy credit there and they believe in a fast lifestyle. This has resulted in the uh, as an opportunity in the Indian retail industry and also the rising spending power and disposable income of the consumer is also an opportunity for both the new entrants and the foreign players. So it will attract both the new entrants and the foreign players. So this is also one of the opportunities in the Indian retail industry or Indian retailing. Apart from that, another point that helps can be considered as one of the opportunities of uh, Indian retail industry is the urbanization of rural cities. The small towns and cities are emerging as a hub of the national economy. 
several stores have emerged in small towns now the retail uh, industries are targeting small towns have having population of even 50 lakhs of population so they are aiming to target these markets because and setting up a lot of smaller uh, retail units in those areas so uh, when retail is entering into the rural areas it leads to the urbanization of the rural areas so the small rural cities are no more uh, rural they are becoming more and more urban due to this entry of uh, this uh, retail organized retail so this is also an opportunity for uh, the domestic and the global giants retail giants because they now see there is a scope for expansion of the expansion of their industry uh, their company so obviously this urbanization of small rural cities is helping is one of the opportunities for the indian retail industry apart from that the internet revolution the internet revolution is making the consumer more accessible to the growing influences of the domestic and foreign retail chain not only the internet also the satellite and tv as helping the people to the young people to understand uh, in creating the awareness about the products and also making them more and more um, knowledgeable about the brands that are available so they are becoming more brand conscious and this internet revolution and the satellite and tv channels growth has led to the uh, demand of the young uh, people in india for more organized retail and more brand conscious products so this is also one of the uh, considered as one of the points which will help as a, considered as one of the opportunities in the indian retail industry then coming to the social and cultural cases there has been tremendous change in the social and cultural behavior of the consumer the shopping behavior of all the segments is changing fast when we say the shopping behavior of all the segments the segments consist of uh, as a society and the society consists of men women uh, adults youths old pensioners all these things children so all the demand for the shopping behavior and the demand for the product the customer preference of all these segments is changing fast because the society is changing fast previously the shopping behavior was different and now the shopping behavior is different now the qualified and the professional women is becoming the hub of the nuclear family system since the culture is changing the society changing the women are working now so she has become the hub of the nuclear family system previously joint family system was formed nowadays more there is a trend towards nuclear family system and the woman plays a dominant role in purchasing previously she was not having a very dominant role in purchasing of the products of the household but nowadays she is having a very dominant role in purchasing consumers are looking for convenience and one stop shopping because both men and women are today working are working class and they don't have time to go to different places to buy different products so all of this uh, cultural and social change uh, uh, the modernization of women has resulted that the, they have very less time and they prefer one shop one stop shopping which will give them with speed accuracy efficiency variety hygiene quality all these things keeping in mind they can go to a particular place and buy a lot of products the consumers are also seeking value for their money for the goods they are purchasing they are becoming more and more conscious that how much i am paying for the product and how far the product will satisfy my needs the consumers the nuclear family has also emerged as one of the pillars for growth of the retail industry in india okay the family are no more interested in shopping but also in entertainment eating out uh, and uh, games for children and other shopping and adventure activities so the social and cultural changes has resulted in the change in the shopping behavior of the customers and the shopping behavior of the customers is changing so this has been a boom to the domestic and foreign investors because they can see that there is enough space there is enough space to enter into the 
Indian retail industry. So this is one of the opportunities for the Indian retail industry, the social and cultural change. Now we'll come to the next one that is customer retailer bond. The customer and the retailer, their bond is very secure. Okay, their proximity is growing at a faster pace. Since the customer uh, has to depend on the retailer and the retailer is the first point of contact with the customer, they have the bond is very important because this uh, retailers are the vital link between the manufacturer and the supply uh, supply chain and the uh, value they, they are the main connecting link between the end customer and the manufacturer so the retailer gives them a lot the manufacturers a lot of information about what the customers think about their products they also uh, communicate uh, the customers about what are the uh, new launches the uh, manufacturers going to make they also uh, it's a two-way communication they also from the consumer side they send information like what are the uh, defects in the product what are the characteristics features that they don't like in the product what are the changes they are expecting in the product all these things are also from the customer side is sent to the uh, manufacturer the manufacturer also able to gauge the taste and preference of the uh, customers more uh, effectively by retailers through retailers because the retailer can understand what is the major taste and preference what is the assortment of product that is the customer is buying so this customer retailer bond this has a lot of potential and this customer retailer the growth in the customer retailer uh, bond has led is an opportunity and this is a major opportunity especially for small manufacturers the small manufacturers they don't have uh, a lot of advertising uh, so they are not uh, able to uh, compete with big players but these uh, retail uh, companies help these uh, small manufacturers a lot in the supply chain in advertising like if, it, if i give you an example uh, if you see hmm, there is if uh, um, there is a new brand a small manufacturer and it's, it cannot fight with a very big major brands so what it will do it will depend upon the retailer there when the customer comes to buy a product suppose it is a spice product a spices company so the manufacturer so if the spice company is um, ramesh masala so you cannot fight with major brands like everest and mbh so when it comes to the uh, customer comes to the retailer to buy a masala then he will say go for this ramesh masala even though it is a new company spice company they are making very good product. So basing on the uh, assurance given by the retailer, a lot of customers buy product. So it helps in advertising for the small, especially for the small manufacturers. So this customer retailer bond is a boon, is one of the one of the major uh, helpful factors. And this has resulted, is can be considered as one of the opportunities and result in the growth of the Indian retail industry. Now coming to another point that is an opportunity for the Indian retail industry is brand consciousness. The people of India has become a lot of brand consciousness. There is a remarkable shift in the perception of the people towards foreign brands like McDonald's, Sony, Panasonic. And this has resulted uh, Apple, etc. And a recent survey was done on brand consciousness among the urban population is going at a faster rate of 8 to 10 percent so a research was done and it was found that 8 to 10 percent of percentage is the percentage within which the people are becoming more and more conscious in india so this is a major uh, um, opportunity for branded or organized retail because now they have a market for their products now the people can uh, know their products so this brand consciousness of the people, as the people are becoming more and more brand conscious, it is can be considered as an opportunity for the Indian retail industry. Now coming to another point, which is really helpful, is the English speaking brigade. When we say it is English speaking brigade, it means that a lot of youth in India are speaking in English. They're able to 
conversing English. So what is happening? It is one of the most vital factors and attracting global markets. Okay, because now the global markets can make ads that or make advertising or easily communicate with people because they are speaking in English. A lot of brands, foreign brands can enter into India because India is concerned, because English is considered as a universal language. In fact, India is the uh, one of the country's uh, second uh, fastest uh, emerging economy and uh, it is speaking in English. So what happens, it becomes to reach the younger generation in a better way. So the foreign uh, brands, it becomes easier for them. So this is one of the huge factors that is attracting foreign investment or foreign direct investment in India. Apart from this English speaking brigade youths, another point which is uh, an opportunity for the Indian, Indian, Indian retail industry is the nuclear family. Nuclear family have increased a lot. Previously, nuclear families were not the joint family system was open, but today the nuclear family have emerged. This nuclear family have increased the purchasing power and they have lack of time. So they have, these are the two main criteria. They have increased power of purchase and there is a lack of time. Why? Because in nuclear families, both husband and wife are, husband and wife are working. So they don't have enough time to go to different places to buy different products from different retailers. So they prefer to buy from a particular place which is nearer to their house and uh, also they can buy with speed, with accuracy, with a lot of variety, with quality, with hygiene. So what happens since both of them are working, they have increased power of purchase. The purchasing power has increased by leap and bounds. Also, there is lack of time. Since there is lack of time, they want to buy everything under one row. So this is really, really helpful for organized retail because the organized retail is based on this thing only because it will provide all these variety of products under one roll. And if you're having a good purchasing power, it will be easier for them to sell the products to you. So this increased uh, power of purchase and lack of time has helped the for organized retail to grow in India. Uh, now, everything they want is under one roll. So this new format has really helped and is an opportunity for uh, growth of Indian retail. Now, apart from nuclear family, another point is increasing number of working women. So the working women has, uh, the number has increased in recent past. Previously, women were not much educated. But nowadays, education women is a primary concern and the uh, women of India are educated and working. So when the women are working, they, they don't have enough time, leisure time, or they do not have time to go to shopping to different places. So they prefer shopping under one room. So this uh, increase in the number of working women has helped a lot because the working woman has to balance both the work life and the uh, personal life. So it is very difficult for them to get leisure time. So this uh, working woman, in, in the number of working women as this has increased, it is really helpful for this organized retail because now the organized retail has more people. And since the buying, uh, uh, buying power of the uh, families have increased because the women are also working. So now they are preferring more branded products. So this increasing number of working women is a big opportunity for organized retail development in India. Apart from that, this increasing number of working women, there is entering of foreign retailers. This is also an opportunity for Indian retail. The Indian retail formats, the legal system, the government policies, all are attracting, are trying to attract foreign retailers to enter into India. Why? Because it will result in the development in the expansion of the Indian retail industry. The Indian retail industry has allowed, you know, the Indian government has allowed 100% uh, uh, um, FDI in single brand, 
and up to 50% FDI in multi-brand. So these foreign uh, uh, retailers can indirectly enter into the Indian market through joint ventures, through franchising, through foreign direct investments. Okay, so this has helped and this is an opportunity for the Indian retail industry. The government is trying to attract more and more uh, foreign retailers into India. Walmart has entered into India. Walmart is one of the biggest retailers in the world. So this entering of foreign retailers is an opportunity for the Indian retail industry. It helps the Indian industry, retail industry to grow, to learn from the foreign retailers and to grow as an industry. So this is also an opportunity for the Indian retail industry. And finally, consumerism. Consumer, there's a growth of consumerism in India. People are interested in promoting and protecting the preferences, the rights of the, the, the consumers. So the consumer demand, the consumer uh, uh, preferences and the consumer lifestyle, all these things, uh, factors is help help in the consumerism growth of consumerism in india present consumers are highly knowledgeable and demanding qualitative products in their preferences the this factor has forced to change the structure of the unorganized retail since this consumerism has uh, grown in india so the unorganized sector is day by day becoming changing into organized sector because people are no more fools they are interested in getting branded qualitative and good products and services so what happens this unorganized sector is uh, day by day the size of the unorganized sector is decreasing and day by day the size of the organized sector is increasing so also the the consumer demand the preference the lifestyle the buying pattern of the people are molding the Indian retail formats. So this is all these things, this consumerism, all these things, the preferences, the demand, the buying patterns are molding the retail format. The Indian retail formats are made in a design in such a way it will help in the growth of the Indian retail industry. So this is also can be considered as one of the um, opportunities for development of or growth of retail development in India. It has to be uh, remembered that the Indian retail industry has come up as one of the most dynamic and fast paced industries with the entrance of various several uh, international players entering into the market. The future of Indian retail industry looks very promising. Okay. And with the growing uh, growth of the market, with the government policies, conducive government policies, uh, and this is uh, uh, facilitating an encouragement of the adoption of technology has resulted in making the uh, retail operations much more smooth, much more efficient, much more effective. So the Indian retail industry is set to boom or set to grow in near future. So this provides uh, as a tremendous opportunity in the Indian retail industry. I will be sending you the notes about this uh, topic uh, digitally. You sit at home, no need to panic, go through the notes. If you have any problems, contact me. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.